everybody, Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kaguya-sama Love is War chapter 279. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing, I want to help keep this operation alive and kicking. So I can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one. Feel free to hit up our cash up and pay via links are in the description box below. So, I swear to God, if Akka is messing with me, I am going to be so mad. Because last chapter, basically all but confirmed, a sequel is coming. Basically, Inosama Love is War, my Ishigino ship. Oh my God. I swear, if it is not coming and I just got trolled, I will be so mad. You have no idea. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Ooh. And this, oh, ooh. This chapter is titled Chika Fujiwara's final chapter. There's no two-parter for this one, it seems. It's rare to see you so lost in thought like this. Did something happen? Kaguya-san, how do I put this? Long story short, oh, a guy confessed to me. Oh, come with that. Come to think of it, um, I recall seeing her being confessed to back during the cultural festival, too. Here, ooh, she's really quite the popular girl, isn't she? Well, given that they don't know how she really is on the inside, she probably seems like the perfect girl. Oh god, that was so mean. You say that, but in the end, you have no intention of actually going out with him, do you? If you're finding it difficult to turn him down, I'd be happy to send him off on your behalf. No, it's fine. How do I put this? Well, <gasps> This time around, I'm actually considering it pretty seriously. Ooh. The Fujiwara ex Hayasaka shippers are dead. We well, dead now. Huh? What do you mean? Like I said, this time around, I've been thinking that he might actually be a pretty decent partner. Ooh, the shippers are dead. Yeah, the Yuri has been killed. Huh? Wait, you mean you experience love? <laughs> you mean you experience love like a normal person? Of course I do. Love. Throughout this series, we've had uh, many of these little exp uh, explanatory cutaways, but this will be the last. And we couldn't have landed on a better one to close it off than this one. Oh my god. Failing. Oh, and there's anime adaptations. Yes, boys talk. What name to use? A chance has come. A game where you can pump, um, pump it up as many times as you want, but you have to um, pump it at least once, and whoever busts it says. <laughs> Birthday surprise and subjectivity. Sh um, Shiratori card game. Ice Kaguya. Final exams. Yeah, the I love you. Um, an ultra romantic plan. Ah, so I love the third season. The six hours. That's right, the six hours of sex. Do you know why I'm angry? Sex, yes. Acting cold, 3D audio, um, horror house, uh, Chikina's classroom. Like in love, streamers, confessions, true love, uh, tying its uh, routine, tying a ch uh, cherry stem, concentration, shared umbrella, true love, Christmas Eve, um, people that are kind of friends, but not really. Summer vacation plan, cos planning, cosplay cafe, Shinomiya family versus Shijo family, 10 yen game, dates. The majority of all living organisms are social creatures, each possessing varying um, individual traits based on the genetic information they've inherited. Aga. This art is fabulous. Not only have these unique traits served as the basis for each species' survival, but their incredible flexibility has allowed species to adapt to ever-changing environments throughout the ages. In other words, humans develop feelings as a, of attraction as a means of eventually exchanging genetic information. However, that's not all there is to it. Ooh, I love this panel. After all, humans are a species that can change dramatically as the outcome of a single choice. Mm-hmm. Even in situations where genetics do not play any significant role, humans will still develop feelings of attraction towards one another. There is no single blueprint for love. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm only human too, and I'm at the age where I'd like to experience love for myself. I'd like to experience love again. I know this may come as a shock to you since you all think of me as a pure and innocent idol. Oh my god. <laughs> you couldn't be more wrong about that. But if 
unfortunately, isn't um, reality isn't always what you imagine it to be. Who is it? Who who's the guy who asked you out? His name is Tamaki Horikan. Wait, Hori, you mean the famous pian? Oh, the famous pianist? Yep, exactly. She got asked out by a pianist. We had met a few times at various competitions when I was younger, but he just got back to Japan from Vienna the other day, so we used the opportunity to get dinner together, and there, and there, he told me he'd like to go out with me um, with the intention of eventually getting married and inviting me to live with him in Vienna. What? To be honest, I've always really loved his performances, and I really respect his skills. Plus, he's always really kind to me and really easy to talk to. His family's home is always way more luxurious than our own, and he's good-looking enough to have it earned the nickname the Jewel of the East over there. Wh- How? How could such a perfect being possibly be interested in Fujiwara-san? <laughs> what do you think about all this, Kage-san? Uh, I mean, obviously. Well, obviously you can't let such a miraculously perfect guy like him slip through your fingers. You should go out with him no matter what it takes. But... I don't care. Huh? You could at least tell me whether you think it'd be a good or a bad idea. Why don't you just do what you want? Ah, is that so? Well, okay then. If you say so, then I'll just do that. In that case, I'll just message Tomikun and say that his proposition sounds good to me. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong, Kage-san? Why'd you stop me? Do you not like it? Are you that opposed to the idea of me belonging to someone else? Of course not. In that case, how about this? I won't send that message. All you have to do is tell me you love me. <laughs> Fine. Fujiwara-san? Oh no, oh no, oh no. You're going to get the shippers going now. Fujiwara-san, I love you and I want for the person you love the most to be me. Roger that. Of course I already knew that all along. Now you finally understand. Now you can experience how I felt when you started uh, going out with the president. That's not the same. It's exactly the same. But still, that makes me feel a little better, a little better about this. What? How would you like to go to uh, go and play with me for a bit, Kaguya-san? What? And the story of Chika Fujiwara comes to a close. Are you really not se um, okay with not sending that message? Yep. After all, it's all way too sudden. Um, there's no way I could uh, just move to Vienna like that. Personally, I want to be able to spend more uh, time enjoying the process of falling in love. For her, the concept of love transcends all gender. Mm-hmm. Just like the way you and the president did. A path full of extra twists and turns, spreading her smile to all those around her. And, and so, as she brightens the lives of everyone in her life, and besides, my real, my real dream is to get married to a sumo wrestler one day. Oh my fucking god, Fujiwara. Chika Fujiwara has been and will continue to be the heroine um, uh, we all know and love. Well, next time the final remaining ones are, we got two more. We got Kaguya and we got um, and Shiragane. So, yeah. So, Fujiwara is basically bisexual. Let's be goddamn real. As soon as, uh, because... The way it's worded that um, if Fujiwara's love transcends gender and shit like that, that's like, that's how I felt uh, when I came out as bi. That's how I felt. Because, yeah, it you love who you love, period. And if it happens to be, for me, if it, that's how I felt. If it happens to be with uh, someone of the same gender, that's how it is. The heart wants what the heart wants. Can't do anything about it. But Fujiwara, you bitched. <laughs> But Kakia, like, that was really fucked up. I was, I feel bad for Fujiwara. I know, I, I like that Fujiwara's like, yeah, I want to fall in love, like, slowly. But, damn it, you had to troll us with this. This was, a, this was Fujiwara's trolling chapter, I swear. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below what you guys think. Do you think that Fujiwara's going off on a trolling note? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking so we can keep bringing you more um, Kaguya content, a few ways you could do that. Dirty Tour, Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. 
Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.